Hi, my Qin friend. Uh, today I'm going to teach you a very important uh, skill um, that is to change the string um, on your Gu Qin. So, um, say, you know, you have a string broken. You know how to put a new string um, on your instrument. Um, so it's a very common problem and uh, to master this skill is um, very important. Um, I have to say, compared to other string instruments such as violin, viola, you know, cello, um, or other zither uh, instrument, guqin uh, strings are a little bit more difficult, but I will explain there is a beauty in its difficulty um, for stringing um, the instrument. So first, we need to understand how the strings are, um, you know, located on the instrument. So Gu Qin has um, seven strings. So these seven, um, from number one to number seven. Number one is the lowest, you know, the um, thickest, and number seven is the highest. Uh, which is also, of course, the um, the th um, thinnest one. So these seven strings, four of them, the four um, uh, lower strings are um, belonging to one group, and then five, six, seven, these three higher strings belong to another group. So they were tied to two little packs. So these two packs, um, which are called the goose legs. Um, so string number one, two, three, four are tied to the, um, you know, this, this leg. And uh, five, six, seven tied to this leg. So they need to be, um, you know, well, not, not necessarily tied to it, it's, it's just, um, you know, you just uh, uh, circle it on the, around the pack and when you tighten the string, the string will hold them in its place. And um, so you, you need to string it to a lower pitch, uh, lower than the desired pitch. And then when you tight it, tighten it, um, it got higher, there were more uh, strength in the string and it will, you know, just press many layers of many rows of the string into its place. So it's on that end, the goose leg. Um, so the other end of the string is tied to this silk, silk, um, kind of a little uh, rope here. And then it is connected to um, the, the pegs. And these pegs um, were used to um, to tighten or loosen the strings. So that's the um, uh, the first thing we need to understand. So I said that um, Guqin string is a little bit complicated and more difficult than other instrument uh, precisely because those strings, there are seven strings and then there are only two legs. So four strings are you know, one cover the on top of the other. Which means, if you, say if you have a broken string, if, if your seventh string is broken, that's a smaller pro problem. Because the seventh string is the last one you put on, on the right leg. So all you need to do is change the seventh string. However, if the fifth string is broken, that means you have to um, loosen all the three strings tied to this peg. And uh, so you have to do it all over again. Same thing to the um, uh, one, two, three, four. So if number four string is broken, it's a smaller problem. All you need to do is to change the, the fourth string. But say if your first string is broken, then you need to do all one, two, three, four, all over again. So that's what make it tricky. 
So what I'm going to do is, um, so I have a fully stringed instrument, but I'm, I'm going to first teach you how to uh, take the string off. Suppose, you know, we are doing the whole thing all over again and take the whole thing off, which is actually uh, what you might want to do, even if just one string is broken, because chances are uh, when you loosen one string, the other strings also got, got um, off the location and become loosened. So um, you need to do the whole thing um, again. So to my experience, doing all seven strings all at, a, at the same time is actually the most kind of permanent way of putting on strings instead of just changing one or two. So I'm going to teach you how to do that, how to take the strings off and how to put the new strings on. Now, uh, to take the old strings off, the first thing you want to do is to loosen all the strings to its extreme. So you lose it, um, make it um, the you know, as loose as possible, basically. So what you are going to do is to basically roll these. So, um, you know, when you look down, um, it is clockwise. Clockwise, cl clockwise is um, loosening the string. So what I'm going to do here, to lose all the seven string. Now they are all loose. So next, what I'm going to do is to um, take it off the goose leg. So I'm going to So the way you do it, um, see this little thing. So I'm going to do um, the three. Uh, the smaller one first. So when you are doing it, you want to put your thumb holding the uh, strings on the wooden board um, so that because the, because the um, uh, elastic quality of the string, it will not jump to hurt yourself or, you know, to to hurt some, somebody near, near you. So I'm picking, all right? So this string is off, all right? Now I'm going to just to do for the rest of the string. All right, now half of the strings are off. Now, now we are going to do this, this leg. So take, the top one first. All right, so this one come off and um, next one. Now you can see your instrument, um, there is no string. And uh, all these pegs got loose. So what we are going to do, you know, you, um, you don't want to um, take these from the little hole. You want, it, you want all these little ropes <coughs> to hang on there, excuse me so that you can easily put the, the new string on. So until the new string is ready to be put on, you know, do not take the peg off. Actually, you don't want to, to do that because these pegs 
um, these ropes are already in the correct, in the right length. They are just um, long and short enough to be on the bridge, which is what you want to do. Want to you want to have your string, the end, which is right there, right there. Okay. So um, now I'm going to deal with the new string that we are about to put on.